Hello everyone, my name is Christopher. In this video, I'm going to rate every single character in Overwatch 2 based on how easy or difficult it's going to be to play against Mauga, the new tank that will be released in December, if I recall correctly. We started off with Bashan, and I believe Bashan is going to be a soft counter to Mauga. You have to understand that when you have a body over Roadhog, you possess the same problem. If you are playing the combination of Bashan and Mei, and you were able to catch the Mauga in the wall while you are being Bashan formed, it's an absolute GG for him. You don't have the option to escape, you don't have the option to shield yourself. Perhaps a Kiriko can TP and cleanse, but you will die together. In reality, if you can catch um, Bashan out of the form, he's not gonna be a problem for you. You can just uh, charge, you kite the form, you charge, you destroy. Cassidy is going to be a hard diff by Mauga, nothing you can do, uh, nothing Cassidy can do uh, against you. You just charge, you use your uh, very modern pile drive that you got from Wrecking Ball, it feels like, right? And you destroy. Cassidy is, has to be one of the worst uh, DPS characters in the game. He's gonna roll, but you will just completely devour him alive. I feel like Mei is going to be an absolute counter to your character, the ability to place the wall, and it something tells me that you will not be able to break through it with your um, movement ability. Perhaps if you can, she would be a soft counter, but in reality, you wall him, <laughs> you play close, you freeze, and then if you have a brawl composition with like Lucio, let's say you play Reinhardt, there is just nothing you can do against these characters. You're completely hopeless, helpless, and useless. Going for D.Va, and I think D.Va is going to be an absolute counter to Mauga on maps with verticality, because on a map like Numbani, the first point, you have to stay on the high ground. They can just force the point. If you are dropping down, <laughs> they can uh, destroy your backline on the high ground and there is nothing you can do your left click right click is not gonna work against the defense matrix and if you try to catch diva lacking in the ultimate she can just all the back and you're gonna die because you are chained and she's chained yeah that's 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 a that's a disaster i think you are a soft counter to genji i think you div genji a little bit because in reality there is nothing he can do against you um he does not have the ability to burst the tank, and you are very, very mm, invulnerable when it comes to your ability to survive against flex DPS like that. The fact that you can go for lifesteal, uh, just you kite, you kite the deflect, you make him use it, and that's a GG. I think when it comes to Hanzo, you're gonna hard diff him. Every single character without some sort of a movement ability is gonna suffer tremendously. You just press W onto him, and he dies. Simple as that. Um, I feel like Junkrat can be a soft div, but in reality, sometimes what's gonna happen is that he can like catch you in a trap. Perhaps you can just run over it because in the ability it says that it doesn't care about movement. So you catch him lacking like that, but if he traps you, there is nothing you can do. You don't have a shield, you don't have the ability to absorb damage any um, any other way, so that's a, that's a GG. I think, I think Mercy has to be the soft counter because from what I see, you can actually uh, pew pew people from above and when you are playing a tank that can deal damage to a fair Mercy, that's very valuable, you don't have that. Only D.Va can do that, perhaps. Every other tank is just terrible. Imagine you have a hit scan, you have Baptiste Ilari, and you are shooting the Mercy with your right click. So if you are shooting uh, double guns, you are very inaccurate, but when you are shooting one gun, you can actually make it work. I feel like Mercy is gonna suffer against you. Reinhardt, I think it's gonna be equal with Reinhardt. Again, if he has the brawl composition with Reinhardt, Lucio, Mei, Bastion, you're, you're gonna be cooked right from the start. But in reality, if he's playing alone, like playing Soldier, Reinhardt, Cassidy, or some other uh, BS that people play in ranked, I feel like it's gonna be equal. You will never be able to burst him through his shield if he's smart, and then perhaps you're gonna be both on the ground. So I think, I think this is an equal kind of thing. Uh, same goes for Lucio. There is no way for you to catch him uh, in case if he wants to commit to you, but he never wants to commit to you. He's playing rush composition with Reinhardt, with Junker Queen. Uh, he's gonna be fine, but if he's not, why would you even play Lucio? I don't know. You will never be able to see him in the game anyways. Farah is going to be an equal again. It's all gonna depend on... Mm, it's all gonna depend on the skill, uh, but 
like you have to understand that if parry is bad, he's gonna fly, um, he's gonna fly low, and you will be able to snipe her and deal some damage to help your team. If he's gonna fly high and go for the backline, bro, there is nothing you can do. You can't peel for the backline. Like if you were to be diva, right? Nothing you can do. When it comes to Reaper, I think it's just a bad character with a good design. Um, when it comes to Reaper, I think you can soft diff him because your range and your abilities feel far more superior than his. Especially after Wraith, you can probably uh, use the ultimate on him. I'm not sure if you will be able to use movement abilities. Probably not. If you chain him, um, you will have you will have hard time finishing him off because of life steal and then you're a Roadhog. But we'll place him in equal. We'll place him in equal. Oh, Roadhog is Roadhog is terrible. You you just absolutely diff this person. First of all, it's really easy to headshot this guy. <laughs> Second of all, you just you just never die from um, you just never die from Roadhog. You have uh, life steal. You have insane guns that you can just you can just go go blazing. Nothing you can do. Soldier, uh, soldier is going to be a soft counter to you. You have to understand that it's really easy to hit you in the head, and thus dude on a on a flank or dude shooting main with a mercy pocket will be a like you will never be able to close the distance on him. Like you charge, he runs back, he avoids you, and then he just completely devours you if you don't have any follow up. Smetra is going to be a soft counter. I don't think you will be able to catch her, but in reality, if she would want to play close to you. And that's a dead Symmetra. Nothing she can do. Torbjorn is going to be a hard counter. Uh, dude does not have any escape abilities. He's pretty weak in the current state of the game. And nothing, nothing he can do. Tracer is going to be... I don't think she's equal. Um, I would say that when you're playing Doomfist, Tracer is equal. But in reality, it's really... It's going to be really easy to stick you. But um, I'm not sure. I think Tracer is going to be a soft... I think Tracer is going to be a soft counter because she can go for your backline uh, without you being able to peel for it, right? Uh, Widowmaker is going to be your absolute counter. Uh, one of the worst characters to play against, especially if you are playing Ilias Ruins, if, especially if you are playing Havana, Junker Town, um, <clears throat> or you are playing Circuit Royale. Nothing you can do. Uh, that's, that's that's just GG. Winston is going to be a soft counter for you because you can break his bubble reliably. You can peel for your backline on flat maps, but on maps with verticality, uh, you will not be able to catch him. He's just gonna jump over and over and over again for your backline. And if you stay with your backline, you don't have space. And if you don't stay with your backline, you're gonna die. Nothing you can do. I think Zari is gonna. I think Zari is gonna completely devour your life. To be honest, like you just charge her for free. You just charge her for free. And then if you wanna engage onto an enemy, um, he's gonna get bubbled. Uh, like you, you can you can bubble your teammates and save them. Nothing you can do if you chain Zarya. You think she's gonna die with a few bubbles and like Kiriko cleanse and Baptiste lamb? I don't think so. I think Zenyatta is gonna get hard dipped. Uh, if you jump Zenyatta, he doesn't have any escape mechanism besides Transcendence, but uh, his new Discord Orb is terrible. You just stay out of line of sight for 1.5 seconds and boom. You can't be Discorded for 7 seconds. This is completely, uh, this is a completely BS change. They need to revert it back. Ana is going to be an absolute counter to you. Every single time you would want to jump. I understand that when you are charging in, you are immortal and invisible, but when you are slamming, right? Um, I think there is going to be an easy time for you to die because it would it would be the same with Wrecking Ball, right? He slams you, you get slept every single time, especially if he's a bad um, Wrecking Ball. You're going to get you're going to get sleeps, you're going to get um, nades and everything. It's just it's going to be amazing. Hard counter for sure, absolute counter. Yeah, uh, Sombra is food in the current state of the game. Nothing she can do. Hack you? You don't care. You have two mini guns, and just just a bad character. We need to we need to help you. When it comes to Arisa, that's a, that's an absolute counter. Um, again, you possess the body of a Roadhog, and you're gonna suffer as the Roadhog. That that guy on Arisa, if he cycles the ability properly, spin, spare, fortify and rinse and repeat nothing you can do you charge him uh, she's fortified you can't kill her um 
and she's gonna like bully you like a kid that's that's for sure like uh, probably the hardest counter out there for sure uh doomfist is gonna be equal you don't care about each other yet um if it's a good doomfist he will bring you a lot of problems because you kind of want to fight him but he has a block and if you charge the block your team is gonna suffer i think it's equal i think it's pretty equal um moira moira is going to be Moira is annoying, but I I don't think she's anywhere. I don't you will just never be able to catch her, you know? In in the current state of the game, she's going for the backline, and you will never be able to see her or healing the teammates, so you absolutely don't care. When it comes to Brig, you are self defing her. Uh, Brig has a problem where <clears throat> if you are not playing dive, uh, or against dive, you are useless. But if you are not playing against dive and you are Brig, like what are, what are you supposed to do? <laughs> How are you supposed to save yourself? Uh, Mauga, if he come, comes close, if he uses his double miniguns, you're dead. You're dead, absolutely dead. Uh, Wrecking Ball is equal, you don't meet each other. Um, he's going for the backline, you can't reliably peel for it, so um, that, that's just that. Ash is going to be a soft diff. I don't think you will be able to catch her, and you have a very big head hitbox. Like, the problem with Ash is that she needs a burst damage that you don't have unfortunately you have like damage over time which is not burst like burst damage is doomfist charged let's go in on her and ash is usually mercy pocketed so she's gonna deal a lot of damage to you i might even think that's gonna be or oh, wait that's a soft counter not a soft div right um i think baptiste baptiste is annoying but you can make you, you can play around him baptiste is a very difficult character to use so if you are um playing against him you have to understand that people uh, like a person that's playing baptiste has to be extraordinary if he wants to if he wants to um have fun or and have how's it called value right his lamp is gonna counter your ultimate and yeah you would you would wanna you would wanna trap players but then the lamp is gonna the lamp, lamp is gonna probably save them sigma is going to be um i would want to say he's an absolute counter because long-ranged maps nothing you can do against them i think zarya is not an not not an absolute counter she's a soft counter but in reality sigma is going to be an absolute one like imagine you're playing sniper maps havana circuit rail junker town what are you gonna do how are you gonna <laughs> are you gonna kill him he's unkillable he's literally unkillable you have a bashing guns and he's the best character against bashing unfortunate i think echo is um i think echo is equal just like Farah. Um, you have the ability to diff the guy if he's bad, but if he's good, he's just gonna go for an assassination playstyle. Bro, you're gonna have so much trouble uh, dealing with him. And if you're half HP, you're dead. Sojourn is an absolute counter. Has to be one of the best characters to play against you. It's really easy to farm rail from you. It's really easy to kill you. You will never be able to catch Sojourn because of the very long uh, escape mechanism. And wow, that's gonna be a disaster and a half for you, right? Chunker Queen is a soft counter. Nothing to do with her. Um, it's really difficult to hit her because of the small hitbox. And then she wants you to be closer to her you know so she can deal damage and then you have such a big head it's actually crazy i can't wait to pump like 10 10 pellets onto onto a mauga head that's gonna be great when it comes to kiriko i'm not sure how the cage the ultimate is working i don't think she's a hard counter i don't think she's a soft counter um i think it's okay i think it's okay playing kiriko you will never be able to kill her um but I don't think she will ever be able to kill you back. So that's that's kind of that. Uh, you are you are hard defing that guy. You are there is nothing you can do on Ramatra against uh, against the character. Like literally nothing you can do on Ramatra against that character. You're gonna get even if you are blocking in a form. No, that's a GG for you. That's you you just deal so much damage and you have. Um, Okay, that's 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 crazy man that's crazy life weaver is going to be a soft counter for you because mm, you can pull players out of the cage i believe and also i heard that if you have an ally mauga you can pull him out of the cage and ultimate is still gonna go if you, even if you kill mauga the ultimate is still gonna go so perhaps you are um trying to c9 players right and then you throw your ultimate they are stuck on your ultimate and you just get a free point and Ilari is going to be equal there i don't feel like there is anything she can do um because of her damage reduced by reducing the project size but in reality that's that 
let me know in the comment section what do you think about this tier list. See you in the next one. Take care.